but, but, but. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Lot of horror. Look at that. What a cool game this is. I need to see what the audio is like right now. Does the game seem fairly quiet to use? Because I'm looking at like the audio here and I'm like way louder than the game. <laughs> could do, could do that. Maybe that'll do, do the trick on that. It sounds loud as ass in my, uh... Sounds loud as ass in my headphones, but uh, you know. Seems fine, that's good then. I guess we might as well just jump straight into it. I've been playing this a shitload again lately, yeah? Ever since, like, October started. And, uh, I've gotten about... Pff, maybe... At least 15 more hours within the last four days. Like, it's one of those games, once it, once it gets its claws into me, I, uh, I don't stop. I've gotten so many more achievements, and, uh... Getting achievements in this game is kind of essential for you to unlock more shit and whatnot. But yes, I am going to jump into a, a game. I'm going to keep it just with the standard colour palette for now. And look at all these options we get. We get so many more. But I'm going to go with the basic one. Well, basic as in like with a character I've never played as before. And a backstory I never played before. Alright. Oh, hiya! Being very kawaii ayaya right now. Holy shit, she starts with a fucking shotgun? Yeah, I literally unlocked her yesterday and uh, wow, she starts with a fucking shotgun. Look at that. Jesus. So, if I know what's the name of that game that Yahtzee made? takes place in the, uh, oh, um, the other roguelite one. That's, uh, The Consuming Shadow. Which I might also, uh, play a bit more of that as well. Definitely in my own time. Maybe even on stream? I don't know. Streams is, uh, uh, very finicky with me right now. Especially since I'm missing, um, I'm missing my second monitor. And after going two monitors for a good while, Having to go back to a single monitor because I went for a smaller desk after decorations and stuff, it, it feels. it makes me feel naked. It feels wrong. It feels wrong having only one monitor right now. So I'm probably gonna, uh. probably Christmas time or some shit like that, I wanna get a, a smaller monitor with like a big arm and just put it over the monitor I've got right now. Just like a little one where I can look at chat and shit because. There ain't no room on my desk to put another fucking monitor on, I'll tell you that right now. So I'm literally using my phone at the moment. Too graphically advanced for Craven's taste. <laughs> Maybe, but might also be within, within his range. Maybe. World of Horny. Hi, Power Wolf. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a couple of hentai mods for <laughs> for this game. There's quite a few mods indeed. But Hunter's daughter, ignoring her father's warnings, she decided to hunt the monster killing the animals to protect this forest and unknowingly save the world. Hunted by the cult, he managed to run from the monster but the cult was tireless. Solving mysteries reduces more doom, but you get more unique combat encounters. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Old gods are awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. The end of the world is at hand. Yeah. Somewhere a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. Well, we got a choice of five old gods here. So we got Kathak Atarasu, the Spider God. That stops us from running from combat because it's an arsehole. Kathotu, devouring fire. He's fiery and, and stuff. Athiolaseth, 
mad ease all that magic and shit. This is probably like my least favorite, my least favorite uh, god. Uh, j just because there's not really that much unique stuff going on with this, and, and there's not. I don't know. It's it's. It annoys me that this is my least favorite because it's literally inspired by um, Hellstar Ramina by Junji Ito, and that pissed me off. That that's the least interesting one. Oh well. Goizo. He's all that mirrors and shit. What do you mean? This ain't three fucking D. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, see? Zektast. This is one of the more unique gods. It, it, have you ever read uh, Color Out of Space by H.P. Lovecraft or, or seen the movie? It's basically that. Uh, well, I've got a stunt gun. I... I kind of want to go with the Ithotu. I want to go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria. A perfect black marble statue has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of Redacted for its long-awaited premiere. <laughs> Pick the thought, naturally. <laughs> Old Avora and she went from the court. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't know that. Old ass shotgun, look at that. And we start with two shells. Ooh. Beautiful. Nice. Oh god, 15 damage. I think that's the strongest weapon in the game. The problem is I've only got two shots. So like I gotta like really be careful with that. Getting ammo in this game is a bloody nightmare. Uh, what do I want to go for? Hmm. I kind of want to go for the occult shot. Uh, history club maybe? Pop. Illegal den. For all your Ill illegality needs. Hi Mufgab. How are you doing my friend? Trying to decide between tea, coffee, or bovril. <laughs> Green tea, coffee, bovril, innit? They know, huh? Back in your home, you're thinking, oh, next move, blah, 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 blah. Got nothing in there. I do have monies in there, though. Lovely. Get a little outfits and stuff. Isn't that cool? Oh my goodness. Of course we're going to go with Duma. Why would we not? Of course we're going to go as a goth, a goth lady. Boof. Boof. Got some XP from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard any of the amazing music <laughs> you made? Um, I have heard the Smelly Dragons one, but I haven't caught any others if any more has been posted. I shall certainly do that um, after the stream though, because if there's more, there's more in there. Because the, the Smelly Dragon and Kobold one was very, very good. Like, like, despite being an AI shit post, that uh, is what the kids would say. It slaps. Magic gathering videos are good. Ga getting some unexpected attention. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Gonna be a full-time YouTuber in two years at this rate. Well, you know, y y you never know. That could very well be a possibility. It might very well, well be a case where the algorithm will uh, will be on your side one day. Mm. What's that one? Okay, I can make this work. Yeah, I can make this work. Let's go for that. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind has snapped. He's decided that it's time to make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. Investigate it. Let's do it. Yay. 
Right, uh, if you ain't played World of Horror, this looks fucking incomprehensible, but don't worry, it's really not that bad. Prepare. Blessed shell. Used in combat, plus one ammo, plus five doom. Ten shooting damage, oh my god. Yikes, I, that, that's like 25 damage? Oh god, wow, yeah. That's insane. That's insanely good. Jesus. Uh, let's do the seaside thingy. Yes. Let's do the side quest. Crabs are feasting on bloated corpses carried to the beach by waves. Smelly couples breaking all the rules. <laughs> I love it. As the last one Zach posted, he had two others. Uh, the above that is the one he talked about. Where the AI sang about the instruments instead of using them. <laughs> That's one way of, of uh, doing it, isn't it? That does sound very good, though. But no, I haven't seen that. Heard that, even. I don't see music. I'm not some sort of weird alien. Music gives you unreal vibes. I can't say I... I can't say I quite see it, honestly. But Unreal's always good. Oh shit, wanker. Oh, it's snipped. Not snip snopped. What's two stamina? You're stopped by two men asking you to borrow some money. Oh shit, oh okay. Mr. Pachinko and Mr. Coin. Everyone has something to sell. Ooh, okay, uh Alright, I've got to think about this for a minute. It would be possible to do that and then... Shit. I can do that, 90%. I feel like it would probably be a good idea to get rid of him first, but then it's like 4 stamina damage. Jesus, that's gonna fucking hurt. Picking Ithotu was probably a mistake. <laughs> Let's go for it. Nice, okay. Jesus. I can't even do three swings here, shit. I could... I could brace... and sort of wet one down this way. That might be the ideal way of going about it. Smack. Probably have to go for, for another one. And now we can basically go smack his face and his stupid ugly face. Wait, what's that? Pick it up. A painkiller! That's a good game. I'm glad you gave me that. Maybe going crazy, but you swear something is watching you from the sea. That's a really fucking rough... Really fucking rough start. <laughs> That's rough as hell, having those two. Jesus Christ. The only thing you dislike is the need to uh, rhyme every line. Late night sessions never dull. Anime <laughs> girls so beautiful. I don't know what those late night sessions are. I bet you it's sitting at home with lots of wanking. Ooh. It does do that. It do indeed. That's kind of the that seems to be a thing with music in general. There's always rhyming. There's one thing everyone at the school is talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? I should investigate down at town. Next. That's not. Oh! Oh. Uh. Somebody messaged me. I don't know if you saw that. I don't think you did. Steam. Uh, may have to mess. Um, respond right now. 
Give me a second. Right, didn't show up on Steam. Okay, lovely. This is a god game, thankfully, so... It, um, the overlay doesn't show up, as far as I know. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mummy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on her backpack uh, lying nearby. Take her home. You're off to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take, take it from here. Plus 10 XP, but minus 2 stamina. Oh shit. What have we done? What horrors have we brought upon our people? Asking around the neighbourhood got you some results. It seems that all the girls attended the same school. School, let's go to school. Fucking ain't school. You enter the kitchen even though it's abandoned and the, and the lights are off. Something is cooking a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Ooh, first aid. Yay, we did it. Yay. You find a first aid kit next to the storage cabinet. You quickly banish yourself up and leave the kitchen. Lovely job, Lee. We got some free, free elf for that. Nice. All the missing girls are apparently members of the school swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Maybe. It's our job to find out, innit? A weird bubbling sound lures you to the dark shower room. On the floor, you find a swimsuit thrown over a grotesque leathery coil. Wait, that's not a coil! Oh shit! Oof, okay, you can't even do that. Right. I'm gonna have to brace for impact again, it would seem. Hope for the best. Okay, that's promising. Yep, we got that. Nice. You don't miss school. No, neither do I. Jesus. Ah, school is like one of those things when you think about it, it that there's always that like moment of whimsy, but then it, it but, but then you realise. Wait, I fucking hated school. What? Why? Why am I like this? Got some spells and shit. Random result after casting a spell. That would be good to have. That doom penalty though. Ooh. Hmm. I think it's worth it. You find a notebook containing handwritten and detailed notes about the swimming club itself and mermaids. I can go to the library and get a spell. Mm, I think I'll do that actually, yeah. Spell! Interpreting the incomplete translations is a tedious task. Finally, you find the fragment you were looking for. Boom, enthrallment. That could be handy. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that could be handy. Bit of bob roll. <laughs> what? Oh, I hee Ram up the kettle. Proper Brexit geezer. Day in the life of a true Brexit geezer. A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts. Everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside viciously attack the windows. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. Uh... Sorry. 
We're doing a bit, a bit of typing at the moment. Okay, back to video game. Back to my video games. Whoever the kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed with mermaids. Inside the science lab, you find the plan of the town sewer system. Someone's marked a path leading from the sea directly to the school building. Let's go. They're going to be a cool investigator person. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket, covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Follow the weird man. Ah, oh, shit. The door is locked, but you think you can repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. Nothing happens. Oh. I could have gotten that as well of the bloody uh, plus one one, huh? Ugh. Then again, we do have the police station, don't we? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can send more patrols. Y yeah. Oh shit, I forgot to get the fucking. Never mind. Can always do that later. Do we have any Londoners and Pops, or is it, or is it, um. You as closest to Brexit geezer land. Well, I'm definitely not a Londoner. I don't know many Londoners uh, within within any of my online circles, as far as I know. Suddenly, an empty bottle smashes on the wall behind you. You cover, cover yourself in the glass fragments and notice a master assailant holding a baseball bat. Ooh, I know many things about this person. Might actually have a chance to uh, get a get a new character here if we're lucky. Right. Yeah, we can. I can take the blow. It's fine. I can take the suck. Yeah, we can make this work. Beautiful. Prescription! Yay! We need to rest the fudge up. This is a this is a rough start to a to a playthrough. Not gonna lie. Um, pharmacy. Make sure you fill a prescription like this. Yeah, let's go to the pharmacy. Now I think we can use it here. Okay, now where would you find the girl who dropped it? Does it say where we got... Oh no, okay, it's not saying we have the... the drug in our inventory. Hmm, okay. Don't have any money to buy any drugs. I remember, right? We go to the illegal den? Question mark? Yes. Entering the illegal den, you instantly recognise the girl who attacked you and dropped the prescription. You throw the expensive medicine on the table before getting closer. It, is that is that the drug for my grandma? Her eyes light up. I thought it was gone forever. Why would you help me at all? Explain what's currently happening. Yay! Uh. If what you're saying is true, I'll help you. Name's Miku, by the way. Achievement unlocked, yay, we got a new character. Beautiful. The chances of that. My condolences, sorry to hear that you had to endure London. <laughs> yeah, uh, 
London is mm. <laughs> I've been there a fair few times in my life and uh, you know some parts of it can be quite nice but um, other parts it just kind of like oh that's a bit of a shit hole isn't it worked there for, worked there for about a year and they go from London for about a month if that counts I'd say it does I feel like a month is all you need to kind of like grasp what London's about I lived le like less than an hour from London and was close to Drat used, used to be when he lived in Milton Keynes. Yeah, relatives there. Yeah, I think I've, I think almost everyone in the UK has, re has at least one relative in London. You compare the sewer plan with a school map and it suddenly dawns on you. School basement. That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. Oh shit. We're probably going to get our ass kicked here, honestly. As you come to an art class, one disturbing painting draws your attention. Use your art knowledge to interpret the weird painting. Ooh, yay. You gasp in horror, but quickly recognise the dystopian surrealist style. You ask for the painting so you can sell it to an avid art collector. I wasn't just making money off other people's work, am I? There is no turning back now. God, let's hope she is alright. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, or upper saucer at least. A tail of a fish has been crudely sewn in place for other legs. She was too weak and died. You hear the mad janitor say. He looks up you up and down, and then up and down. Maybe you'll do. Not giving up after uh, the previous failure, the obsessed janitor has found another body to experiment on. You! Oh shit! I'm cacking my pants right now. Right. Yeah, we can probably get get away with Brayson. We can probably get away with that. We don't have any... Yeah, we don't have any, um... Healing items or anything, so... We could probably make this work. So... We can only get three in there. I don't really want to wa waste those... don't really want to waste any ammo though, that's the thing. Let's go for another one. But I could probably go for one... Hmm. Can shoot. So we shoot now, we'll get... Okay, yeah, we can make this work. Oh, oh we'll do our kick for three damage. Oh, nice, that's even better. Okay. Yeah, this'll work. Bang! Oh boy! I got my arsehole kicked! Majanta's body slumps to the floor. Pick up the axe and, using it as a crutch, try to leave the room. Injured and weakened, you slowly lose consciousness in the school corridor. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the Majanta is found. But you will sleep a little better tonight, knowing that the other students are safe. Yay! Oh, was that a bot? Flumping arsehole bot. I can't even see the bloody message because I'm on my bloody phone. Ugh, Twitch phone app is shite. Hate it. Hate it. Like AI, but arguably not as bad. <laughs> Memorable headman. That is a good name. Got some pretty memorable head Oh, fucking hell. Calm your titties, Muff Geb. You horny swine. We got some shit. Yay. Right. Firearm melee. Oh, that's good. Gain one or two bullets at the end of each mystery. What? It, yeah? Yes, please. That'd be fantastic. Give me that fucking stamina. 
Man, like melee attacks being faster. Gain one to two bullets at the end of a miss. That's fucking good. I I have to. I have to. Oh shit. Great. Means enemies are gonna be harder to hit harder to hit now. Lovely. Shall I? Uh we want stun. Want stirmin ass. Uh horror ward. Oh, this ward, uh... I think I'll go ahead and go straight to the blood-curdling botanist. Because we do have a chance to get a proper ending here. Bizarre brute of the blood-curdling botanist. Your neighbour asked you to help. Her husband, Shira-san, has gone missing. She is worried it might be connected with the new fertiliser he ordered from Tokyo. Where is he? And why would he need so much fertiliser? He's got a load of shit. Still have active police in this game. What? Active police in this game? How the hell did the freaks get around then? Who knows? In the world of cosmic horror and, and where nothing is ever as it seems. Maybe, maybe it's just a case where they don't see it, but we do. Or it could be ver very well be a case where they choose not to comprehend it. Cosmic horror and all that shit, innit? Sometimes not knowing is the best, is the best thing you can do. Uh, uh blacks. Yay. Got some XP. Do another school thingy. Well, shit. Okay. A new yet undefined species of the Cordyceps fungus has been observed to infect rats, taking over their bodies. They have the same effect on other mammals. It's the last of us. Fucking run for it! Get your arse out of there now. <laughs> you don't have titties. <laughs> An ending this early. No, no, an ending to the mystery. Not an end to the run. Basically, you do five different mysteries. They all have, like, different endings. And different endings can net different benefits and shit. Just some endings are pretty balls hard to do. And uh, in doing so, often involves you getting items or some other things from other mysteries in order to use in other mysteries. It's it. It does seem like a simple game on 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 the surface, but there is like a lot of depth that 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 goes on. Yeah, I said the police found you in the school. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Well, you never know. They're probably in in on it. They're probably also nasty, horrible fish men. Who knows? Chinko do the Mystic Corner, whatever. Yeah, that's kind of, kind of the thing with like a lot of um, Junji Ito inspired uh, stuff. Like a, a, a lot of it is, um, you know, um, end of the world scenarios and stuff, or really like weird and disturbing concepts that happen in everyday life that can sometimes seem normal to everyone else. The town of Shiokawa is a really weird one in this game. Something is wrong, you don't see anyone on the street and you could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You'd better hurry out of there, mine's one reason. Shiro-san has always been a weirdo but he's good at what he does. Last month he ordered a pack of experimental fungicide. I think I've seen the dispatch order with an address somewhere, the old man says. Help me move this dirt and I'll look for it. Well, now we gotta hope we don't die miserably. Um, it might be worth resting up a little bit, though. Yes, yes it is. Yes, we can work with that. Oh, experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of twenty stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the of redacted park. You can cast one spell without paying 
anything. And we don't have any spells. So I guess we'll get fucked. While this batch order is stained with a foul smelling liquid, you think you can make out the address, at least parts of it. The house is somewhere in the forest, in the nearby forest. Pachinko head and Power Rangers. <laughs> I think there is actually like a mod that adds like Power Rangers and like Super Sentai stuff in this. Like a whole bunch of people have made like mods to add all sorts of custom events and mysteries and shit. So I'm not dabbling into the mods yet. There's like still a whole bunch of stuff in the base game I want to get through. Yeah, there's a ton of content for this game already. A sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you screams in pain as he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. When she sees you, she starts to run. Can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of the supernatural attack. Pursue the hooded woman. Chase her down. Oh shit. The hooded woman disappears behind the corner and when you get there she's gone, already mixed in the crowd. I failed to stop you today, but you're sure they'll try again and again. They certainly will. It's dark, you don't remember the trees growing so close to each other. Oh shit. Hearing some rustling behind a bush, you decide to hide behind a tree. There you spot three men, each armed with a rifle, they're obviously looking for something or someone. Well, I know which is the Charisma check, and our Charisma is ever so slightly higher than the Dexterity check, so fuck it. Shit. You walk from behind a tree and wave, suddenly you hear a bang and feel an impact on your shoulder, which quickly turns into an intense pain. Damn, that's not him. You hear the scream of one of the men before everything gets dark. When you open your eyes, you find yourself next to a road leading to the forest. Your wound is bandaged, but you fear it's not enough. Uh, that's uh, dropped our survival chance. Oh, that's dropped our survival chances even more. Shit. I'm so excited. A wet splash behind you makes you stop. You, su you slowly turn around to see a young girl sluggishly walking in your direction. In her eyeball, there's a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls to the floor with a wet splash. Oh shit. Right, do the classic brace tactic. Uh, no, I won't be able to do that. Just brace again. Now we can go with boosh. Yep, we can make that work. Yeah, yay. Also, if I remember right, I have to have this equipped for this section. Not too happy about that with the lack of uh, the hit hit chance being much lower. But uh, dirt road looks promising, but it branches in two different directions. Which one is the correct one? I can guarantee you the last one we'll get um, will be where we need to go, the last of the squares. In the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog caught by its hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get close. Of course I'm gonna fucking help it. Yay! You free the injured dog? Thankful the animal follows you. Yeah, yeah, yay. Look at it, a little sheep that you knew. So cute. Like, why would I not help the dog? Of course I'm gonna help the dog. The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. You're enacting some sort of a ritual no, they're enacting, not me. I'm not making rituals. And you're clearing ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Time to climb it. Yay! Managed to see some of the faces and hear the names of the group. Lovely. Walking through the tree nursery, you suddenly stop. Something feels off? Isn't it too early for the leaves to change their colour? Before you can continue, someone grabs your leg. Oh shit! 
Oh, this is going to be a pain. Us. Oh god, that fucking hit chance. Jesus. Oh, that's awful. Ugh. This is... this is bad. <laughs> there, there, there's no other way, uh... No two ways about it, it's just bad. Um... I, I don't know, I'll just fucking do that, whatever. Yeah, just... poof. Just get it over and done with, stop pissing about. Imagine getting hair from Shib Shibuya Kaho. Oh no, even Muff gets infected by Shibuya's massive badonkas. Cough, wild dog, cough. Totally what a wild dog would look, would look like, of course. It's a good dogger. Counts like great considering you have two companions now, yet you lot <laughs> get simply grabbed out of nowhere all the time. Well, you know, I guess it's because this this dude doesn't have any fingers. He probably he's probably not too much help right now. Cause he's a plonker. Oh fuck you. Trees overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. Righty. Yep, everything is as it should be. Overgrown mansion. Finally, after what felt like hours of following the dirt road, you find the old mansion. It's completely overgrown with plants you've never seen before. In front of the mansion, there's the gardening company minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. You stand in the middle of the room when suddenly the floor gives way and you fall down to the basement. Falling through the hole on the floor, you find yourself in an overgrown basement. In the corner lies a man you recognise. It's Shiro-san, the missing gardener. You must help him escape this cursed place. Oh, I know what's coming up here. I have a... I have a method to this madness. I have other options, but trust me on this one. Chop your way out! Using the fire axe, you can quickly, quickly chop down the branches, blocking the, the path, blah blah blah. Boom. Plants continue to attack as you uh, and the gardener flee from the forest, only to suddenly stop when you reach the city limits. I should call out the... Oh shit, yeah! Oh, crap. I forgot a step in that. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot one of the steps in that ending. Ah. Oh. I could have got an ending A there, but I forgot to, uh... I forgot to do a certain step. Oops. Well, shittens. Oh. There's plenty more chances in the future. It's not a big deal. Uh, charisma. Two stamina at the end of each mystery. That's that's pretty good. Luck, luck is handy. Um, stamina is good though. Yes. A friendly dog disappeared last night. I'll have to find a new place to buy equipment. Well, shot. Shower, as always. Uh, reason. Why not? Bum 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 bum. Music in this game is well good. Trees blocking the sunlight would make make you happy. This game is unrealistic. <laughs> Oh, the whole Mr. Beast thing. Yeah, I've heard about that. Don't particularly want to talk about it right now because of some uh, some s topics in that. But yes, I've heard about it. Haven't been following the drama. He has a uh, stupid that people even got surprised that the guy was setting up his uh, content. Uh, definitely didn't see it coming. <laughs> Oh, 
Diddy Diddy is a real story. <laughs> I get that reference. Um, school Skizzers, Wordless Ward. Hmm. What do I want to go for? Well, I could probably. Um, no, the axe does more damage. Shotgun is faster. A higher chance to hit low. Plus we get the chance to uh, actually use our gun. <laughs> oh, these are all combat focused, damn. Um, let's go for this one. Worrying right up of a wordless ward. You've got a call from your classmate's mother. With a teary voice, she told you that your friend had a nasty accident and is currently awaiting an important surgery. They asked her to call you and request you spend a few evenings with them. That's weird. You haven't exactly had the closest relationship lately. But you agree to visit your friend starting tonight. Amount of people warning about P. Diddy even as long as 10 years ago is mad. I don't really keep up with a lot of celebrity stuff, but yeah. Classmate is at the hospital, awaiting the surgery. Going to visit them, visit them tonight. Alright, Mom, calm down. I'm going, okay? I'm fucking doing it. Uh, Ask about your classmate. Don't like the nurse's weird smile. Patients waiting for a special surgery? Take the elevator in the corridor. Thanks, love. Ah, oh, I hate this one. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Branded. Like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for their eldritch masters? Ugh, Doom. I love Doom, the video game. I fucking hate Doom in this. That's like always how I die, pretty much. Patients here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? Check out the patient room. Your friend is lying on the bed, still sleeping after the surgery. Their face is almost completely covered in bandages. You sit on what must be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. Thinking how pointless it is to wait here, having nothing else to do, you decide to go and buy something to drink from the vending machine. A pale woman wearing a nurse outfit stops you. Today we are running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Would you be so kind to help the community? Oh. Doom is great. I agree. Not in this though. Not in this. Doom is existential dread. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe the the Doom mechanic. One look at his channel almost immediately screams to me ADHD autism content. <laughs> Especially with the fucking face thumbnails. God. I only know about Miss Beast stuff because you tend to scroll through uh, shorts for hours. Bloody hell. I almost stay stay away from the shorts unless there is actually something interesting there. But like, bloody hell, scroll, scrolling for hours? Jesus. Ah. Ah. Sorry, readjusting the chair. What is Doom in this game and how does it kill you? Doom is pretty much how close the uh, the Eldritch God is uh, to Awakening. Basically a stress meter that can reach fatal levels. No, that's basically the, the reason mechanic. That's like sanity. Doom is, is essentially when when the bad shit finally makes it, uh, makes it here. You've got no hope at that point. Enemy of productivity. Yeah. A pale woman wearing... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Let's give to the community. Let's donate our blood. Success. You feel like they took more blood than they should. You feel weak but fulfilled, knowing you are helping. Yay. Less doom. The next day passes without any incident, and before you know it, another evening has come. 
With an increasing reluctance, you head towards the hospital. Ah, uh, boff. Stumble upon a nurse trying to open the door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. As she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Oh shit! Oh fucking cat my pants! Absolutely shitting myself. Uh, shit. Yeah, we can make this work. Yay. Uh, no. Let's just do another brace. Now we can. I think we can do two. Seven. Yeah, we can do that. Lovely. Luck was on my side. Because there, there have been times where I've had like 90, like 95% chance to hit. And there have been several times where I missed like multiple 95% chance chances to hit <laughs> in a single sequence. Like when, when you get like a look like that, you know it's going to be a bad run. So this one might be okay. It might be okay. I can manage my my health and all that. Upper floor is eerily silent in comparison. The patients here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? Your friend woke up earlier today. You spent some time talking about school and recent events, but still can't shake the feeling something about them seems off. Finally, they go to sleep. You decide to take a walk to stretch your legs. <laughs> Watching Skibbity Brain right? Oh god. Ugh. I've got, I remember seeing like one picture today on bloody the hell site. Uh, of, of there being official Skibbity Toilet merch of like plushies and stuff like that and it actually shows the bloody Half-Life 2 face of the Half-Life Citizen. Good god. <laughs> there is no hope. There's no hope for the younger generations. There's some little kid screaming for uh, some sort of Mr. Beast related toy uh, today earlier in Tesco's. Like a literal toddler. I don't know his content but he'd... <laughs> Jesus, really? Made a scream after she met Pachinko Coin Dude and <laughs> the Sewer Swimming Girl. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know, she was just so terrified. She was just so happy to, to see us and she said yay when she attacked us. I mean, it's, it's scary when people show you affection and say yay in your presence. Get used to your Pokemon experience. Yeah. So the dog buggered off. Uh, the dog is for the for the shop. There's actually a shop in the game that has a little that has a little doggo selling you stuff. It's actually really cute. Friends, kids have skibbity toilet. Mo oh god. Oh, I didn't read that, oops. You spend hours trying to find your way out, finally completely exhausted. You end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighbourhood slowly closes behind you. The Eldritch Street. The next day on your way home, you are stopped by your friend's mother. She hands you a package for her child. You promise to hand it over tonight. I suppose I will. Uh... Now I believe I need to put that back into storage. You find yourself in an old unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath, the disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary. My doctors determined the cause of death. Um hmm. Search the cabinet. Oh yay. Some f something flashes in the corner of dusty drawer and you reach for it. It's a sewing kit, which may come in handy later. That would come in handy, actually. That would come in really, really handy. Came the gun, resorts in, baby. You wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't let the child watch brain rot. Relatable. Yeah, 
I'm gonna grab ice cream. Yum. I can't promise I won't die, Craven. But do enjoy the ice cream. Decide it's better not to mention the curious package. Your friend uh, doesn't ask about it anyway. There is something in the look, look of their eyes that makes you think they that they know. You stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that promises to revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you he can heal your wounds for free. Nah. You politely decline the generous offer and continue on your way. Next day passes without any incident and before you know it, another evening has come. With an increasing reluctance, you head towards the hospital. Oh, oh my god, this has had so much combat. You are stopped by two nurses, ready to apologise and explain yourself. Notice their weird smiles, dead stares, sharp knives. Oh god, that's a... oh Jesus. Right, okay. Four stamina. Four stamina damage. Jesus. Mm. That's rough. Um. Mm. That's the problem with choosing an, uh, an Ethosu. Um. Playthrough. Enemies can deal so much damage, but we can we can reduce this. Right. Okay. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to shoot. We're gonna need to shoot gun. I think. Yeah, I think that's our. I've got a broken jaw. Shit. Mm. Right. 16 damage. We can do that. Let's do it. Bang. What's that? Steak knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arm. Patients here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? Your friend just keeps staring at you. Do I tell you you're really beautiful? They ask, twisting their swollen lips in a smile. <laughs> Don't go yet. Oh no. Being held against my will. What is ending? That one doctor be like, I'm a revolutionized medicine. Uh, for the remaining two weeks we have left. Yeah, basically. He's not a smart doctor. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while running, waiting for the train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Invite her for a coffee, why not? In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumour about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for... recent and horrific events? Maybe. Next day passes without any incident, and before you know it, another evening has come. With an increasing reluctance, you head towards the, hosp the hospital. Let's rest. That's a good idea, methinks. Yeah, I think that is a good idea. Enter the hospital. Oh shit, while well, taking an elevator you get, get a terrible feeling as if something bad is happen go about to happen. The elevator doors open. Brace yourself. Oh shit! Elevator doors open revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator. Biting and suffocating you. Later you wake up in a doctor's office. And that's discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. 
That's a bit unlucky. Patients here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? The final phase of my surgery is tomorrow. I just can't wait to show you the results. Can't help but shudder thinking about the final day. I'm shitting myself. Uh... As you glance around, you notice that more and more people are wearing strange masks. Unlike anything you have ever seen before. As you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that some also wear, wear these eerie masks. Their voices sound muffled and distorted, and you can't shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hairs on the back of your neck stand on end, and you realise something is terribly wrong. Oh shit! Ah. Smell bonfire outside, but can't see one. What? It's a Dark Souls bonfire. Somebody has uh, set, set up their checkpoint. Rest? What's that? Yeah, rest is for the weak. Only the weak sleep. And I am very, very weak. I need my sleep a lot. I need my rest. Sure, that's not their face. This can't be healthy! Blech. What are they protecting themselves against? You take a deep breath and the air around you feels as heavy as if it's thick with an invisible poison. You cough and your eyes begin to water. The world around you is not as safe as you once thought. I mean, we already know it wasn't very safe now, didn't we? <laughs> <clears throat> Suddenly, all the lights in the hospital go out. With a bad feeling in your gut, you decide to check on your friend one last time and get the hell out of there. You're shocked to find an empty bed. The trail of blood on the floor leads to the bathroom. Ignoring it, the faint footstep from the corridor, you take the step towards it. The footsteps are getting louder. Do you like what I did with my face? I always admired you, you know. Even when you acted like you didn't know me at all. I think the result is perfect. Too perfect, in fact. For two people to share the same face. Oh god. Oh my god, four damage and... Oof. Oh god, this is rough. This is rough. Um. Oh, do, do we... Because I know I get a whole bunch of doom for doing that. Right, I've got an idea. Chuck it. Fucking chuck it. And then I'm gonna banish that bastard up. Oh, no, wait, that's not what I'm doing. Let's just fucking... Well, I guess we can probably brace for one attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't even... Yikes. Uh, this is rough. I think we're just gonna have to take, take the hit, you know? Like, yeah, we still have ringing ears. Shit. So that's eight damage. This is awful. <laughs> this, we find ourselves in a very awful situation here. Fuck it. We're gonna take a pretty nasty hit whether we like it or not. There's no avoiding it. Oh, that's rough. I can get a reason back. Uh, dexterity, knowledge, luck. Get some luck. Oof. The person who tried to steal your life now lies on the hospital floor. Dead. Maddened, you keep smashing their face in until only a gory mess remains. When you come back to your senses, you stumble out of the hospital room and into the dark corridor. The doors to other rooms slowly begin to open, and you are reminded about what the crazed friend told you about the other 
told the other patients about you. Out of every room stretches the bandaged head of a patient. Their bruised face ir faces eerily similar. They all want to meet you. Oh god, it's scary. <laughs> this is rough, Lenny face. <laughs> yeah, I got a. Uh... Yeah, I got pretty messed up there. Rose leading. Oh sh. Um. Yeah, that's. I think that's basically going to guarantee that we're going to die. Right. Uh, get more reason. Why not? That's only the third out of five mysteries we need to solve. We did get a sh we did get a bullet back though, at least. I think we'll do this one. Just broke your jaw yesterday. <laughs> Good thing I'm not using magic, innit? Nightmare news of the noisy nails. And the morbid killing spree continues as another body is found in the city's river. Every victim shares one common trait. Their finger and toenails are missing. They've been pried off. Why nails? Could the killer have a, have a hidden motive? Are they sending a message? We must hurry up before they claim another. Uh, another. Let's get invest investigating, yes. Yeah. I suppose we could do another rest. That's probably all we have. <laughs> That's probably all we can do. Um, I do dare to step into the occult shop. And nothing costing one penny. Shit. Well, that's just wasted doom then, isn't it? Crap. No leads, a trip to the police station could be useful. Your friend's cousin works there and she can help you. Time is of the essence, so you could decide to take a shortcut through the abandoned building site. Uh, sometimes you get lucky and, and an item can go for like one fund. And oof. We got unlucky. A sudden growl coming from behind the corner makes you stop. Oh dear. Deary me, deary, deary me. No, we got a brace. We got to brace. Misty attack? Why well, aren't you an arsehole? Right, now we need to get lucky and hope, uh... Hope we get all three attacks here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Maybe someone has a keratin deficiency. <laughs> Police did, did lock down the town. Potentially. Ooh. Right. And ultimately, your friend's cousin gives you a photocopied file. You thank her and quickly leave. Oh no, leave quickly. Not quickly leave. What am I talking about? Same thing. The school building seems like a safe place to study the file. Yeah, it does. Let's do it. Hmm. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window and take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapour. Observe. Yay. Sludgy va vapors rise slowly upward, forming a perfect spiral. You back away from the window, surprised by this curious phenomenon. Victims of the serial killer seem to be chosen randomly. There's no obvious pattern in regard to age, sex, and education. You should continue your search in the hospital, where the victims are. You can't shake off the feeling that you are being watched. Always watching. You try to sneak into the mortuary, 
but the hospital staff is on high alert. Decide to wait here a bit? Maybe you'll manage to find a way in. <clears throat> Imagine some uh, killing you just to chew the nails off your corpse. I'm sure that that is a thing, yes. Walking through the hospital corridor, you are stopped by an old man with a cast on his leg. Could you help me down these stairs? Help the man. Oh shit. You struggle to help, help the man, but you both fall down the stairs. The man's cast breaks, and you scream. Underneath the cast, there's a seething sore, frothing with green bubbles. The man smiles, his smile way too wide for his face. He's a bit of a weirdo, isn't he? One of the mortuary technicians acts strangely. He has left the building and returned twice already. Each time he comes back, an ambulance with a new victim arrives. On the way to the next destination, you stop the tall man wearing a dirty kabuki mask. He's talking to a woman and slowly reaching into his pocket. Alert! You decide to act quickly and run between the pair screaming. The panicked woman flees but the masked man grabs you by your neck. Before you can prote protest, he takes a pair of pliers out of his pocket and rips off one of your nails. Oh, lovely, thank you. <laughs> why? Cheers. Thanks for that. God, we are again. Royally screwed. <laughs> And I don't want to rest because of doom. You notice that the man keeps his hospital key in the back pocket. If you could steal it, entering the hospital would be much easier. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery. The shadows move in fantastic and uncountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge. Especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Continue looking. Oh yay. Quickly find a tombstone marked with a red string. Under a stone you find a note someone left for you. Oh I'm sorry. You excuse yourself after bumping into the man. He frowns and hurries away, not noticing that you managed to steal his hospital keys. We don't have money. No money? To buy a medicine? But we... We're uh, probably gonna die here, you know. Probably gonna die. Oh, God. The, that pair has been following you since this morning. You finally managed to lose them. You can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse. It's getting dark and the suspicious man has not returned yet. Now is just only chance to check out the mortuary and learn about the serial killer's victims. Using the hospital key, you manage to enter the mortuary floor unnoticed. The hospital floor is eerily quiet. You prepare your weapon, wondering what's, ne what's going to happen next. The whole room has a pungent, irritating smell you can barely stand. All the dissection tables are empty, and you're afraid to think where the bodies are now. You must hurry up before the suspected killer returns back. The masked man jumps from behind the door, and you barely dodge his blade. I can't let you leave this room. Are you going to become his last victim? Oh, oh we've only got one shell. Oh, this is awful. I think we're dead. <laughs> I don't think we're fucked. Unless we use this. It's our only opportunity. It's our only chance. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Oh, okay. A bit dark. But that also increased our doom, so it's like, uh, it's, it's a doom run no matter what we try. 
And then I guess we just hope for the best with the with the attack. A 70% chance? Mm. It's our only choice. Oh. Fuck. The dreaded Kabuki killer fin finally falls to the ground dead. We alert the hospital staff and soon the whole floor is swarming with police. After a brief interrogation, you're free to go. Two, two questions still remain. What did the killer do with the nails of his victim? victims? And who broke the mortuary window and fled before the cops arrived? Who knows? Local scientists are baffled. An unprecedented aurora-like event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural glow. Well. Yes, let's get some stamina back, please. That, that's, uh... Oh god, yeah, thank god we got that. Yeah. There's no contest. That's our only choice right now. I'm surprised we managed to, uh... I'm surprised we managed to get a pretty decent comeback for after that. Right. Spine chilling story of school scissors. Skizzers. You have no stamina, basically. Yeah, I, I managed to get a whole bunch back, though. With some very, very clutch play on my part. I'm quite proud of that. More stamina for the sex you'll be having later. Ugh. I wish. <laughs> Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumour has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. Up, up, up. My cat was just literally scratching my bloody carpet, little asshole. Right, give me a sec. I just hope he wasn't doing any more scratching while, uh, while I've been strumming. Usually he's just like sleeping on, on my bed like a right lazy, lazy goon. You know your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back to where she belongs, he claimed. After he too disappeared, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that claims to stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Horrible things. Horrible things could happen. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumours are true, to stop the tall woman, woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. I check the lockers, innit? No, we don't have the tiny key. I'm not opening that one. You have to figure that out for yourself when you play it. If you play it. Uh, Friends diary, yes, we do need that. Explore the school. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you st stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors has opened on its own. We're fucking running. You might be paranoid, but there's no way you're risking an encounter with a ghost here. Yeah, no ghosts, please. I don't want to deal with any ghosts. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. Let's hurry and find those items. Ritsuko-chan was the most promising athlete in her school. When she suddenly disappeared, the case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today she has finally dug herself out. Oh god! Oh gee, Lois! 
It's Ristakar Chan from World of Horror. <laughs> um That is foolish, what am I doing that? Uh boop. Right, that hurt like hell. Yeah, I can go boop 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 boop. Ah, oh, if only Nah, so close to getting like Guaranteed. Oh well. Let's just hope that ten that ten percent chance to miss doesn't fuck us over. Yay. Spooky ectoplasm everywhere. Randy Marsh was here, clearly. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. I make no extra pages. What the fudge you want about? Peek outside. Hello! Hi! It's me! You let me in, please? Oh, I've got cookies! Ah. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't risk that, risk that again. <laughs> we'll explore the school anyway. Fun stand? Why is that? That uh, that's the money. That's your money. Cookie, cookie, what the cookie? You enter the damp smelling sport sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? Enter the water. You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly, the water turns murky. You realise you're not alone in the pool. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Oh god! Oh god, I'm being attacked by my dad! <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> right, yeah, that'll do it. Oh! Risky! This might play out perfectly. You found the blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. <laughs> Good quote, I enjoy. You can upgrade to the fun stat IRL. Yeah. Same. My foot, my IRL fun stat has uh, not been super great lately. Uh, no, that's a wrong star. Um, yeah, that one. Oh yeah, I know which one that is. There we go. Perform. No, wait, we can't perform the ritual yet. Never mind. Push my fat mouth. Trail growing cold, it might be time for a new approach, blah 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 blah. Oh lovely. Near closing time, you stumble upon a curious article on the last page of the new local newspaper. Copy the author's name along with the address. Before getting ready to leave. Minus three doom. That's exactly what we need. That's very handy. The pool was empty at this hour, it was dark, but you could swear something suddenly moved under the surface of the water. I'm gonna check the lockers. Oh! Someone left their wallet in one of the open open lockers. You got some money! You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. What? I messed up? How did I mess up? Just gotta pump out more content onto the MTG uh, channel. You'll be making 5k a month soon enough. Well, hopefully you do. I'm praying for your success, my friend. Right. Wait, what's that? Oh god, is it? Oh, it's scary. It's fucking terrifying, look at it. 
take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? You're fucking ugly. Uh... You know what? Fucking chuck it at you, yeah. Suck it down. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that can work. Let's hope for the best. Oh, yes, all in one go. Wunderbar. Oh dear. Let's get us into freaky eldritch ghost ladies that want to slash your face. Oh, now you see the three faces. <laughs> Surprised it took you that long. Had a worm like face. <laughs> The ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothing nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him up, and both of you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. The scissors woman is gone for good. Or is she? You should have known the urban legend once will inspire another kid in another city and try and summon the eldritch being. It's best we can fucking do, isn't it? Dangerous bands of rioters. Could be problematic. No wait, that, that that's the last mystery. Yeah, I'm I think we're pretty pretty good to go. We might actually get a win. Um Probably about to go for knowledge. Uh reason. But yeah, I... Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good to go. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you remember. Enter. Multiple padlocks prevent you from entering the building. You need five keys. And now we can go in. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. That whoever, or whatever, is behind the weird events, must be on the highest floor of this place. And that you should run away from this place as fast and as far and fast as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. I think we just gotta to commit to the bit. You have any anything in here? No we don't. But I think we can actually throw that. I think. Let's just go. Following the winding staircase, you are stop. W w wait a minute. Someone has been taking photos of you. Uh, focus on you. The photos include enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say what. The second enemy. Um. I think Mr. Pachinko was the first enemy we fought. I th yeah, yeah, that was the first enemy. Uh, Rioter, I think that was... Drain Swimmer? No. Mad Janitor? What's the Mad Janitor again? Might be Drain Swimmer. Yeah, it might be Drain Swimmer. Yeah, it was, okay. Mega Brain Craven. Look at that. He saved me. Did crush on Zergified Ker Kerrigan from StarCraft pretty hard at one point. Oh my. You're into those Alamal ladies. Gravely injured but alive, you mean? <laughs> that's just uh, saying they ain't dead yet, isn't it? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. If 
Following the winding staircase, you are stopped. Well, wait, wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspaper clippings, and pinned them here. The more you study them, the, you discover you can't remember any of them, except one. Right, blood curdling bonus. I remember that. You rip the newspaper clipping of a case you seem to remember. Beneath it is a tiny button. You press it and, with a buzz, the gate opens. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous glass shards and, not and knives. Yeah, I was expecting that. You can feel the sharp glass ripping your flesh as you search for the switch. Finally, you grab a cable and follow it with your bleeding fingers until you find the button. With a buzz, the gate opens. You got shite dexterity. Oof, okay. I still forgot to get the fucking uh, thing from the police station. That would have helped tremendously in this bit. Climbing up the winding staircase, you are stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personal, really. Well. Luckily, I know what I know we uh, won't have any more combat, so. Bang. Bang. Oh, new kitchen gun. Bang, bang, bang. And the dirt is gone. You're stopped by a girl wearing dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. Well shot. We're not charismatic enough. That's, uh, that's me saying that about my character and me in real life. You try to talk her into allowing you to pass, but suddenly she raises the knife and slices right across her own throat, nearly decapitating herself. You carefully step over her body. That's a bit grim, isn't it? The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Nay! We got a win! That was one of the most intense uh, runs I've, I've managed to win. The last one I won, uh, I was incredibly lucky. <laughs> Everything just kept going my way in that one. This one I had to fucking fight for it, Jesus. As your natural fog slowly lifts you, uh, lifts, you are relieved and collapse to the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You manage to stop the ritual awakening the eldritch old god. But what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again, until the stars are right once more. Congratulations! You are safe. For now. Boom! Yeah, you survived. Bloody hell, an hour and a half, Jesus. Has it really been that long already? Has it? Has it? Doesn't feel like it's been that long already. Oh come on, Twitch fucking arsehole. I need, I need to check how long it's been going for. I must know. Oh, shut up, go away. Oh yeah. I guess we can do one more run. Why not? Oh, I've got two new achievements as well. Yay! Beautiful. Nearly decap decapitating herself, meanwhile, her spine. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Evidently, yes. Right. Let's go for one more, shall we? Yay. I know for a fact I want to try and do the occult capital of Japan. Every year our city is visited by hundreds of tourists and interested in the paranormal. Lovely jubbly. 
Interesting that we got the Hunted by the Cult um, uh, backstory, but we didn't get any of, any of the unique combat encounters I've noticed. I guess that's probably some good luck, because I imagine the cult members are probably, like, really, uh, really dangerous. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, okay. Your family was cursed, everyone around you will die. <laughs> Alright. You start the playthrough with more funds, but you can't have any human allies. Well, you know, let, let's just get the most fucked up playthrough in the world here. Hi! Rioter, Miku. Rebellious misfit, keen on spreading chaos. She will protect her own town, even if only for her own selfish reasons. Oh, okay. She's got a bunch more strength, but increasing Doom grants various bonuses. That's... That sounds interesting. There's a couple of us following you, but you shook them off. No, no, that that that's a uh, that's a that's a common, um, a fairly common event. Oh no, it's a faceless person. Uh, Reminded me of that one Japanese um, yokai that like uh, makes the makes makes people think that there's somebody else, and then when they show themselves, they finally like show themselves as like a faceless being. That then drives people to do horrible things to themselves. Um. If we want to increase Doom for benefits for this character, I think maybe going for Goiza would probably be a good pick. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago. Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey. Straight through reflective glass. The glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Right. Let's go. Okie dokie. Um. You can get bonuses and shit. Um, I do quite like the, the history club. Hell Eagle Den, obviously, blah 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 blah. I do want more occult stuff. That's always fun. And you know what? Yeah, we'll get, get, get two shops here, why not? For shits and giggles. Library notes, okay. What outfits do you have? Oh, we got a bunch. <laughs> Skeleton vomit. Here's, here's your girl, Craven. Here's your waifu. <laughs> I love that. Of course, schoolgirl. A little local tank top. A little turtleneck. Okay, yeah, of course we're going to do that. We're going to go pure chaos. Why not? Gonna go absolutely manic, because that's that's what she's all about, apparently. Those five gods are always the same. There are more. You can unlock more, yes. Um But like for most of my playthrough, for about 35 hours, I end up going with just four gods. You have to get achievements to unlock new gods, new characters, new items, etc. So it heavily encourages you to go for um, achievements at basically all times. Right, what do we got here? Abnormal arms, school scissors, blood cannon and modernist, moonlight sailors. Hmm, yeah, it's a pretty decent setup. Yeah, okay, we can make this work. Why not? Alarming account of abnormal arms. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed. With no sign of forced entry, the killer was never found, and the apartment remained vacant. What do we eat? Let's see what, uh... Let's see what Miku's item is. A guitar? Ooh. She's a musician person. 
Resting regains more <laughs> reason, increases doom. <laughs> okay. That's a... Uh, that's a heavy, heavy cost for... Uh, gonna be a heavy cost for resting, Jesus. Um... Her stats suck. Jesus. Her stats really suck. Um... Guess we can go to the hardware shop. <laughs> It'll do. It's, it's a weapon. It'll do. Um... See if there's anything in the occult shop as well. The little voodoo doll. That's pretty handy to have. Defeat a vampire enemy, that would be handy. Yeah, why not? Um... Yeah, I won't do any more shops right now. They cause so much doom, so... Say the ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on the street at night. Is it just an urban legend or is there more truth to this tale? Skeletons can't vomit, they don't have the guts for it. Hello. Hi Tekshi, how you doing? You're here to eat my flesh and bones, will you let me? Uh, when I give up on life. Then you can. <laughs> Apparently I don't have it yet, guess you uh didn't put on your wish list, but pick it up. Um, wait, this, uh... You mean World of Horror? Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, this seems like the kind of game you'd, uh... You'd have on your wish list and probably picked up by now. That's very odd for you. This, this def definitely seems like, uh... Some very strong Craven core. Even with the whole Junji Ito stuff going on. You plan to wait the entire night, observing the spot where the supposed ghost would appear, but you fall asleep. Wake up on a cold bench, your entire body aching badly. Uh, Oh yeah, got Apartment is on third floor, there is no way somebody used the window to escape the murder scene. We need to do the hospital. That's what we need to do. Hehehe. <laughs> That's good to hear that you're doing well, Takashi. Me, I'm, uh... I'm fairly okay at the moment. You know, I've been a bit of a moody bastard lately, but, um... I'm fairly okay right now. I mean, I'm okay enough to do a stream. And, as someone who is very finicky when it comes to streaming, that, that, that's, that, that's saying a lot. Hmm... Make an excuse. Make an excuse and leave the disappointed nurse behind. Sorry, lady. My blood, you can't fucking take it. I'm sorry, have you seen the doctor? He suddenly disappeared and I'm not sure whether the surgery is over. Oh god. Oh my god, that hit chance. Awful. That's terrible. No, I'm just gonna have to connect. Smack, 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 smack. There we go. An anatomical museum archive displays a specimen with elongated arms and jellified bones. He's a jelly boy. Party Jizz Sock Deluxe, that's going to be the name of my new company. When my game dev really, really starts to, uh, to take off, now that I'm going to properly commit to that, I will use that name. It'll become a name associated with greatness in video games. Hugs for all, hugs back, hugs back for everyone. Come here, give us a hug. That's the wrong come, Craven. 
A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower and suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. The trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Let's check the bathroom. Oh. You don't enter the bathroom, instead you go straight to the building's boiler room. One pipe coming from the ground. Looks like it was welded to the central system recently. Where does it lead? Fuck knows. You notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem too small for anyone to crawl through though. Wandering through an entire an, an empty corridor even. You find an old vending machine. You don't recognise the brands of sodas inside, but you really could use a drink. Let's be a cheap fart. Nice. You buy a can of off-brand soda and take a sip. It tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. It's a lovely beverage of carbonated Bear Grylls piss. My favourite. You should interview the neighbours. Maybe they'll, uh, you'll discover something the police missed? Question mark. And Knuckles, of course. Everything needs Knuckles. We need a world, world of horror and Knuckles. We need an and Knuckles mod for this, uh, for this game. Where everything is just, just replaced with Knuckles. Try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side. One neighbour is complaining about her missing underwear. Oh dear. Carbonated piss! Indeed. Telephone sounds and multiple voices are too loud for you to ignore. When you enter the apartment, everything turns silent. Oh dear. I could probably do that. Yeah, we can make this work. Yeah, I can make this work. Smack. Another neighbour is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. You know what, let's just see how much doom resting will, will take up here. Six. Jesus. That's fucking double the amount. Yikes. We're not going to be resting very much. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Read the letters. Sweet, it seems like that you've won a small amount of money in the lottery. Look at you. Nice. Let's check the building plan to find out there is a place where all the vents connect. Let's do it. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our Real Lord and Saviour. A day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other, other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man um, on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? Listen to the man. You learn some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said was was the truth, humanity is doomed. Every room is connected by the vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? Oh god, show, show, show me show me the way. I really hope somebody made a Ugandan Knuckles enemy as a mod in this. That would be absolutely perfect. Just kills you with like with like his little cluck looks. As like a little VR chat related mystery. The true Eldritch horror, Ugandan Knuckles. Spicy fish on beans flavoured sodi pop. My favourite, yummy. <laughs> Show the Zack way. Ooh. You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipes. Cursing, you find the light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. 
You cautiously crawl inside the vent, determined to solve this macabre mystery. Nothing could prepare you for the source of skittering sound getting louder and closer. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, okay, uh, we found a new enemy. Oh god, that hit, the hit chance is awful. Hmm. Uh, we can brace. Nah. What are you weak to then? Ouch. Um, we don't even know what he's weak against. The perverted thoughts of the neighbor materialize under the corrupting influence of the old gods. Well, shot. I don't like the sound of that grommet. He sounds like a twat. I think probably focusing on strong attacks would be the ideal way of going about this. Because we won't, we won't have any chance to use any. Um, I mean. You could potentially get eight. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just. Oh, would you look at that? All right, fair enough. It's like just under half a chance, but it might be worth. Might be worth doing. I've got one idea here. Yes, 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 yes. Smack. Smack. We did it! Good guy. Fish and brains. Somehow you can't imagine those two going together too well. Surprisingly, I feel like they do. Fish and beans, like especially like fish cakes. Oh. Oh. That, that, that's the good stuff. Oh hey, a really long, long arm sticking out the vent. I'm gonna squeeze past it and climb in there. Of course. After the police arrive, the whole building gets searched. Following the disgusting body, the detectives enter one of the flats. Inside the slimy lair, there are countless giant, semi-transparent eggs. When broken, they reveal a horrible centipede human fetus hybrids. Oh god. Uh, you are questioned thoroughly while the government people, dressed as gas company employees, clean up the apartment. You are eventually released, but can, can swear that at night you can still hear faint skittering sounds coming from the vents. Lovely. Oh shit, we don't even get the tiny key anymore. Ooh, okay. Looting! That's pretty good. Yeah, faster combat actions, that, that's just... That's just kind of a, a requirement, isn't it? Yeah, let's get strength. Weird epidemic keeps staff at the, at the hospital busy. Yep, so more money. What? No money? Here. suck a -ca. Exactly when Nap comes in the room and we worship them. Yes. Board of Horror mod where Nap is an eldritch god. Make it happen. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do school scissors again. Spine chilling story, yeah, yeah, we've already read the best blah 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 blah. Right. Okay. Maybe this is different? Nope, nope, okay. That's why I didn't want to open that. <laughs> Took away one reason. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy. I'm not an happy lad. Yeah, why not? Grow teeth as a new combat action. Because of course it does. You know, bite everyone. Like a savage little animal. Not in there for now. Friend's diary, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. That looks like two claps. What is that there? Clap, clap. Sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Marrow is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow we'll try to perform the ritual. What's that clap clap doing there for? I guess we'll figure that out eventually. Losing. Thought you had an option named <laughs> Gluten. Finally, we can have the, f the densest, fattiest foods in the world. Do extra damage to enemies who prefer gluten-free products. Yeah. Oh yeah, sign me up. Take the bread and start shoving it in demon's mouth to kill them. That'd be one way to, uh, to solve combat in this, I suppose. You gasp in pure horror and twisted faces and possible angles and enormous monoliths make you sick. Ugh. Right. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff into my new office? I'm gonna help her. Oh yay. Creepy substitute t uh, substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your on your back. I see there's some new friends out here. No, it's the same one. Hello, Peekaboo. Hey, I'm your new friend. My name's Bill. I like biscuits. You mind if I come in for a second? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk about biscuits with you. Oh, shouldn't risk that again. Yeah, when he starts talking about biscuits, you know, he just never fucking stops. Dun. Something is wrong. Instead of a clear, clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long-forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. Ooh, run! She. You raise your head in time to see Athyalazeth, the single eye glaring get down at you. You scream as your mind is flooded with, with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with, an, with ancient runes and curses. Well shot. Ooh, yay. Right, what's the, uh, what's the, the thingy? Triangle and squiggle. Triangle. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Let's explore some more. Yeah, yeah, let's go. A weird bubbling sound lures you to the dark shower room. Oh wait, okay, yeah, we've seen this. It's her again. Um, I think it's worth the risk. Nice. Smack. We're doing pretty poor on health, not gonna lie. Doing pretty poor, poor right now. Turns out she she's a slug creature, and when the MC said "feel the gaze on her back," she meant it literally. <laughs> this red bread is breed. Oh my goodness! 
Dirty boy. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What makes you, what you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. Well, let's perform the ritual, shall we? Wait, what's that? Holy shit! <laughs> Um, that's new. You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. A pillar of heads is nearly reaching the high ceiling. Each face has the same expression of pure hatred. Each mouth screaming the same question. Am I beautiful? Now it's your only chance to send this monstrosity away. Inputs the uh, correct combinations of bows and claps to perform the banishment ritual. Which, of course, is apparently two claps. No, wait, is it? Uh, wait. Ah. Uh, So we know the two... So it's the first two claps. Um... Is there anything else we can have here? We might be in, uh... Might be in for a bit of a shit time with this thing. Um, hmm. So I assume that, that that's the first two, clap clap, but um... Well, fuck knows what the other ones are. Ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna go with that. So, clap clap, bow bow, clap. Take a step back, praying that the banishment ritual... Correct, correct. Correct! Oh, <laughs> wrong! Bastard! Ah! Wrong on the final one. The Eldritch Horror is slowly moving towards you, seemingly unaffected by the ritual. When you are sure this would finally be the end, you wake up in an ambulance. The paramedic calmly explains that they found you collapsed in one of the classrooms. He shrugs when you ask him about the scissors woman and your friend. Probably just a heatstroke induced hallucination, he says, injecting your arm with a needle. The last thing you see before losing consciousness for the second time is the face of the paramedic. Two old scars visible on both his cheeks. Oh, shirticles. Uh, looting. You got loads of money already, though. Uh, luck. Hmm. I kind of want to focus on more strength. Yeah. Probably a foolish idea, but I'm committed. Oh shit. Saunas went, went Monday, not Tuesday, right? Yeah, 5 plus Doom. Beautiful. Exactly what I needed. Oh. You meant to do the reason one, but I'll oh, well, mind. Um, let's do the Moonlight Sailors. Yeah, it's more worm-like, like a big old worm. Time for bringing dicks, 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 dicks and knuckles. Dicks and knuckles. What more do you need in life? Sorrowful saga of the Moonlight Sailors. He began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A, r a dark writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. I'm smelling food. It smells pretty good. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. Not to be seen until one moonlight night, when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm. 
and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. Right. Probably a good idea to take a stop to the shop. Hmm. Or maybe the hardware shop? Uh, take a flashlight, because we have a quest to do. Let's guard that shit. Uh, hmm. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work. <laughs> right. Uh, no, we can't do that. Okay. There's a reason why I'm gonna watch this sequence. Okay. Um... Right, yeah, we're gonna have to brace. We're gonna have to brace. There we go, now he's got his bloody uh, damage uh, increased now that I've hit him. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Yes, that can work beautifully. Lovely jubbly. Right, now I can chuck that away. Oh, hello. You couldn't find nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. What you did find was a huge bonfire in the middle of the beach. You take a burning branch with you and light your way. Ooh, okay. Counts as a light source. Oh wait, we got a chance to get a uh, an achievement here. Yes. Right, you. Go in there. Bam. Bam. Equip that shit. Yay, achievement unlocked. Lovely. Can get the crowbar back on. Uh, get that back out. Yeah, that should be fine. Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing for, besides the the fact uh, the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. I'm gonna cook the fisherman. Boy, milk. It's been milk. How you been? Gosh, it is finally that time where you can jump on and watch people's stuff early. It's a miracle. It's wonderful. It's criminal. The upgraded version of regular criminals, of course. A good old scriminal. A scriminal from the Scrimblow files. That good old classic analog horror, that's definitely a big old meme. Don't you worry, there'll be many butt bashing. I can assure you that one, Takeshi. Smooth criminals. <laughs> Annie, are you okay? I can't sing that because of DMC, yay. Fisherman in the cup chair. Seemingly semen semen. <laughs> While you walk through the crowd of space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologises. Give me my fucking money back. Store your wallet. You quickly, quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing in the crowd. Yeah, take that, you wanker. You arrive at the fisherman's house. It stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Oh, no. I'm going to shit myself. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. 
Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a closer look. Um. Hmm. Touch that bad boy. Fuck. When you reach out to touch the stone, you're shocked at how hot the surface is. Burns your fingers. Oh my fingers. Oh god. Oh gee, Lois, to just burn my fingers. <laughs> Thanks, game. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around, hoping to spot one of them. I forgot to read that last time. Oops. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> My fault. Shit. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goizo is getting closer. I like the Inzmasu look. I become Fishman. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies as he caresses his cheek. The beating movements of his arm, arms disturb you. Um, kind of want to go to the illegal den. No, wait, not enough money. Mm, shit. Well, let's just hope we get more money later then. No wait, I can, uh, I can do this. Money? Oh shit. Of course. Probably one, probably one of the worst things I could have gotten there. Um... Yeah, let's go. Uh, not quite what I was hoping for. And I can't get an ally neither because of the background I've uh, chosen. I can't even do that. Um, could probably use that for throwing. That could be handy. Could be handy. Scram! Should have just said, see you later, friend. Would have dropped dead on the spot because of your curse. That would have been very funny. I won't lie. No friends allowed. No friends at all. Oh wait, money! Yay. If there was a job for a strong person like you, you help with, with moving crates and exchange recent seaside gossip with other workers. Nice. Got more money back. Beautiful. After a slow interrogation, the young man emerge, manages to stutter out something about an organised fishing trip. Something pulls you towards the beach, a statuette buried in the sand is calling you. Feeling your hand shaking, you take a step closer. Of course I'm going to take it home. It's a cool statue. Why would I not take it home? Statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmerised, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. Slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what's to come next. I'm going to get Torch on just in case that's, um... In case that's important for the... Let's go for it. <clears throat> the full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink-black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. Your only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and ha pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. Possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the boards, the figures on board. Oh lord. Hello. <laughs> so I can... Jesus, the seeping apostle. The whole section of the beach is black with ooze, slowly engulfing the bodies of the missing sailors. Right in the middle of it stands a lone figure. When he spots you, the ooze stops undulating for a second before rapidly moving towards you, leaving the half-eaten corpse behind. Well, I know exactly what to do here. Um... What's about here? Crowbar is. That's where the fucking torture him. 
Die, fiend. You throw the torch towards the figure and the ooze instantly ignites, quickly turning the whole beach into a burning nightmare, devouring both the, both the black substance and the corpses. The noxious fumes force you to retreat and find cover. I could have fought that lad as well. Ooh, my neck. Can't do a big caho. Yeah, a big sad. I am not initiate or, or partner or anything like that, so no bigs, no bigs here, unfortunately. I don't stream. I don't stream often enough to even warrant it, to be honest. <laughs> Didn't work in heft. No. It was definitely a close call. Too close for your liking. You're sh you are sure the newspapers will pour on the goo soon to dry up and look just like volcanic ash by tomorrow. Tonight, however, all you're thinking about is a hot bath. That sounds quite lovely, actually. Ah, holes. Yeah, we need to get that stamina up badly. Uh... We could get, could get dexterity, yeah. Tis an option. We got more mayhem. Mayhem! The imposing shadow cast by the old lighthouse is getting long reach day. That could be a problem. There's a statue up, look at it. I've got something similar to that on my, uh, on my desk here as well, actually. It's, it's like a little Cthulhu, like a little uh, fat Cthulhu, Cthulhu. And then you can like take his uh, head off and then it turns into a sweet jar. It's great. I love it. Barth. Hotter water. Let's keep going, gang. Uh, blood curling bot botanist. Yeah, I'll do the botanist again. No, oh, wait, do I? No, I don't think I will. Do the noisy nails again. Right, right, we've already read all this before, so... It's gonna be a bit, a bit risky, but, uh... Oh, I don't know if I should rest again. Jesus, that's so much. Can go to the schoolyard. None of them like me. None of them want to be my friend. I could go to the history club. Yeah, that's an option. And one reason for all failed. Oh, okay. That might be the best idea right now. Right, let's go. Said you'd be lying if you said you didn't wish you, you was uh, making more than 50 euro a year from the streaming. <laughs> yeah. It would be nice to make money from that sort of thing, but um, yeah, for, for some people it's only like pennies, pocket change. Opposite, you don't stream for fun. <laughs> only giving you 50 euro a year, you need to start <laughs> step that up. <laughs> Do a hot tub stream, you might double it. <laughs> make your own, uh, make your own lol cow live, Zach. Get, um, get, get, get Wings of Redemption to, uh, <laughs> to put, to perform his latest, uh, Liquid Richard, uh, single. That, that, that will get him, get in all the views, all the hits, all the subs. Card tub stream. <laughs> hot tub filled with MTG cards. That would be kind of fun though, not gonna lie. Ooh, steal his gun. Yeah, I think we will. 
We got a canoe. That's a big old canoe. Isn't that only the... Oh yeah, I can't get them out yet. Um, since we're not really going to do much resting, oh pardon me. Can get that out for now. Um... Get the army knife for now. Leave the gun for later. We'll probably put the uh, put the gruesome totem on now. Actually, might be a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. Good idea indeed. Well, it's real talk. <laughs> Barely anyone talking about how I look like look like a thumb put some without my eyebrows and facial hair. Look here, look, listen. Just want to have a good time, have a good game. Boom. One reason. Hey, yeah, that's pretty good. Level jubbly. Level jubble. Hmm. Let's do it again. Took my took my finger now. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Meet with your friend. It was recently was started. Recently started her nurse practice. You lazy chat on the roof of the hospital, watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Eh. Just don't ruin the car moment, you know? That'd be a good idea. Another killer encounter. Oh shit. You are stopped by a tall man wearing a dirty kabuki mask. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Give me your fingers. You hesitate seeing something metallic in, in the man's hand. Try to run. Fuck. Try to run but trip and fall to the ground. The masked man jumps on you and rips off a couple of your nails with a pair of pliers. Well, shit. Just lose all of my fingernails, then. Every single one of them. Oh, okay, yeah. Grow teeth. That's bite. Yum. Wait, did that actually... I said it didn't, it didn't cost anything, did it? Huh. It... Oh, wait. No, okay. I'm just gonna assume that, 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 yeah. It, 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 you know. I'm just gonna, gonna assume it worked. That's all I'm gonna assume. Oh, yeah, this side again. Shit. <laughs> oh, my fucking HP. Right. Um... Mummified heart away for now. It might be worth uh, going for the pistol right now. I'm just trying to think about the other case that we have left. I don't remember what it is. He's going to be a bit of a tough lad, and we're very fucking low on health, so. Uh, I'm gonna take every every opportunity I can to to win here. Even if it means throwing literally everything at him. So what what do you mean meet with your friend? We, yeah, I don't have uh, friends in real life. Gross. Disgusting. Yeah, pub. You're not supposed to be able to have friends because of the curse. What? Exactly. She's gonna gonna die now. She's going to die horribly because of my horrible deeds. Right. Is it throw every fucking thing at you? Toss rag. Fucking murder your ass. I fear this is not gonna be enough. 
I fear this is not going to be enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, okay. Um... Guess we're just going to have to brace. I mean, we've got, we've got plenty of opportunities to brace, so... Oh, fuck's sake. Whatever. Should be fine. Alright. We'll go for that, and then we can go for a Schust. Actually, that's three damage. That's nine. Three plus nine, that's twelve. Mm. Ah, now we can make this work. We can make this work. Yeah, so here we go. Smacks back, bang. Hey! Oh. Well, fuck. Uh, we, we should be fine. Thankfully. The dreaded Kabuki killer? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've already. What do you know about this? More holes spreading on your body! <laughs> Joy! Right, cut off from the outside world. Yeah, that's really not a big issue at all. That's probably one of the easiest ones you can get. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. so let's get more Staram. Or Stamina. And uh, we can get some stuff back out. Yeah, why not? Why not? Right, we got one more left, don't we? Yeah, the blood curdling botanist. Right, we've already read that one. Um, probably just sell these, can't we? Yeah, sell that. Uh, can't sell that, obviously. Go back to the crowbar, because the chances of us finding any bullets is low. Right, I'm going to have to, um... Just throw it as a weapon. Um... Oh wait, no, no apartments. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, I remember. Um... We've got plenty of time here. We've got plenty of doom to work with. So now I'm just kind of thinking what would be the best place... Well, we can probably do... No, no, we do a rest. Probably do a couple of rests, you know? Yeah, yeah, we can work with that. Um... I think we can work with that for now. Doesn't hurt to look into the doggo shop. Well, it does. It does hurt. Uh, but it's worth a look. I do like that. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I can work with that. Right, let's go. Inconsistent game. Yeah, it's because I've got the last, uh, um, uh, by default you have like a last stand mechanic where you can be on zero something, zero reason or zero stamina, and you can still go just a little bit. So as long as you heal up right afterwards, then you're good to go. Oh, let the police handle it. Tell the girl to wait while you look for an officer. When you get back, she's gone. School. Let's go to the school. Gain access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. I always seem to succeed in this. An announced inspection, she asks. Thank you for telling me. While the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, you copy some names and addresses from the database. As you can tell, I look, I look very, very official. I look like the kind of person who would definitely do inspections. I'm above you, schools. You don't teach me, I teach you. Hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. 
At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Pick up the book! Recognise the sticker on the book, it came from the local library. Yes, we already, already read that. Oh, more library notes, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Sun growl coming from behind the... Oh yeah. The ghoul again. Right, I'm gonna brace for impact. Smack, smacker, smacker across her stupid ugly face. Smack, smack. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Lovely jubbly. Now I can just get a strong attack in. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Um. We won't need funds anymore. Charisma. Probably. Yeah, probably. School is for cools. School! Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? One bite won't hurt. It, y y yum. Feeling the eyes of the restaurant's guests on your back, you take a small bite of the smelly seafood. It's surprisingly good, but you kindly refuse another serving. Here we are. Let's go. Of course, I'm gonna have the dog. Shit. Why would I not help the dog? Confront. Nice. It's just get creep scarecrow. Relieved you decide to leave the area just in case. I'm just gonna click on any random one here. You discover a giant plush toy half buried in a ditch. Feeling uneasy, you take a step back, but it's already too late. Dream Eater? I don't know if I've ever fought this thing. This might actually be a new enemy for me. How much? Yeah, okay, yeah, we can work with this. Oh, no, wait, even better. Even better. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Smack. Smack. Die, Fizz! <laughs> I'm still with a snake dream eater. I really hope there is a custom mystery that somebody made for this. That's all about climbing a big, big ass ladder. That would be rather perfect. Alrighty, Muffgab, no worries. Nighty night, my friend. I'll probably be finishing after this, um, after this run as well, to be honest. I feel like I'm, I'm nearly done and my bum is hurting. Ow. Get a grip! Drooping tree branches hang over the, p the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get a grip. You quicken your pace and leave the menacing path. Stumble upon a half-eaten deer carcass. Oh, okay. Bloody sweater. Assume the worst. Ah, oh, shit. Wild beast must have killed this poor person. You say a quick prayer before continuing. She doesn't seem like the kind of person to pray. Then again, she is wearing a bloody Oni like, thingy out all over, ain't she? You're surprised to find a well-dressed man sitting on a rock in the middle of a forest. When you get closer, however, you discover that he's wearing a realistic mask that falls to the ground. Do you have a moment to speak about this product? 
Oh, we got over there, good sir. Unfortunately, I do not. It is time for you to die! Let me go smack you in the face. Dream salesman. He's so dreamy. Drowsy from Pokemon. <laughs> it, did, it did kind of look like him, yeah. Dreamy as sucks in Pokemon. We can to get water everywhere and drink water too. <laughs> My, do my, my dogs do that. Wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Try to decipher the signs. Yes. So the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we did it. Fortunately, we don't have the secret ending possibility here, so I'm going to take the easy way out. Because I'm a big bubble blowing baby. A big bubble blowing babu. Whee! Vines whip you, covering your exposed skin in deep lacerations. You cry in pain, dropping the body of Shiro-san. There's no way you'll be able to save him. With a heavy heart, you've run, leaving the man you're supposed to protect behind. Oh no. And we got some doom. Joy. Oh yay. Um. More knowledge will probably be more handy here. Well, we're at the lighthouse again, we might actually get a win. If we're lucky. Uh, Yeah, more reason. If we're lucky, we might be able to get a win here. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, library notes, uh... Nah, 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 we're good. Let's go! We've almost got this! Yay! Yep, find the switch. Lovely! Managed to locate the door the door switch while avoiding the knives and glass shards. With a buzz, the gate opens. Nice sir. Man, her stats get really fucking good later in the run. Ah, yes. Climbing up the winding staircase, you are stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. Yeah, good old Takahashi-san. The ultimate opportunist. Die! Can't use that. Can't throw that either. Die! Um... Shit. 12 damage. Uh, I think we can brace. Yeah, that might lower the doom. Yeah, yeah. And it did. Lovely. You know what? Smack. Bash his face in. Because he's a tart. On one in the staircase, you're stopped by a metal gate. The tiny page nailed to the gate explains that the op opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods using your own body as a natural conductor. Let's go! Oh, beautiful. You're about to grab the rods when you notice the dials and buttons. You toy with them for a bit before adjusting both voltage and current, so it's safe for you to grab them. With a buzz, the gate opens. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision. You can swear something is waiting for you inside of it. But you lay. The light source seems to somehow repel the darkness and you continue to climb the staircase safe. North. Oh, don't you worry. I think I've got this one in the bag, Takashi. I'm kicking Iris right now. Eat their flesh. I don't know, that's a very good, a good idea. 
I do have the grow teeth um, spell, so I could have literally bit a chunk out of them. That was a possibility. <laughs> yeah, those videos are great. What while those used to get uh, water everywhere when they had uh, some to drink? Calling a poppy, the coffee people are fine. Aww. Just get food around their chins instead. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do love like the be the beardy dogs where like they, after they dr drank something, their beard just goes super wet, or they get food stuck all in their beard, and it's, it just looks really really funny. It's kind of adorable. Following the winding staircase, okay, second mystery. I believe it was School Scissors. Yes. I was correct, Amundo. Ow. Ow. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. A cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water. But to power the gate, you'll need to disconnect a faulty plug. Yet yay. Weird goo burns your fingers, but you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Bam! Smash that mirror. Ah, beautiful. We got another win! Two wins in a row, that never fucking happens. Man, uh, and this character, she gets so strong like later in the playthrough. God damn. Like, if you can survive the early game, she gets super good. Oh. Oh my. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. We managed to stop the ritual awakening the eldritch old god. But what's done is done. It will stir on its slumber again and again till the stars are open for more. Congratulations, you are safe for now. That, 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 that seems like a, uh, a reptiloid girl, doesn't it? That seems like a reptiloid girl. Yeah. A lo a, a, like a, like a, 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 a small troublemaker she is. Fluffy babies. <laughs> well, everyone loves this ending. Very good to know. Congratulations, you've survived! Got three new achievements. Oh, okay. That was a fucking good run, yeah. That was a really good run. Well. I do love this game. But I'm gonna have to say that uh, that's probably gonna be it for now. That's pretty much about as much as I'm gonna do for the time being. 